Nim fam and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be covering a free hit team. So if I was free hitting, this is the team I would be looking at ahead of Double Game Week 22. If you're loving the content, then please do comment below. Let me know if you're free hitting and who you have differently. And also please drop a like. Let's try and hit 60 likes on this video. That would be amazing. Lastly, if you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe. Okay, let's get into this. I've gone with De Gea and Kepa as my goalkeepers. Obviously, De Gea has some nice fixtures in Aston Villa and Brentford, but of course United have been a little iffy in defence. The reason I've gone with Kepa as my second keeper is he's a double game week player and if for some reason De Gea managed not to play in either games, then, you know, Kepa could be a good alternative to that. I mean, if you're on a free hit, you may as well get as many double game week players as you can even if you know you're going to bench them. You could actually consider Kepa as your first keeper if you wanted. I should imagine he'll get some save points against Man City, but you won't be expecting a clean sheet there. But Brighton could be a better bet for that clean sheet with him. So it all depends on whether or not you think Aston Villa will score. I think they might be able to, especially if they have Coutinho in play. And then you've just got to weigh up then for the second fixture, whether you think De Gea will be able to keep Brentford out or whether or not you prefer Kepa against Brighton on that one. But the main one with this free hit is giving you plenty of options so that when the deadline comes around and you have more information, you'll know exactly who to place out as your starting 11. In defence, I've kept Rudiger for much the same reasons as I'm considering Kepa. Also, Rudiger did score a goal midweek in the cup so you know you couldn't bet against him not to get an attacking return for you at this point. I've also kept Trent who is a single game week player but I think most people will own Trent. He is rumoured to be back after Covid so I think it's a really tough one to go without him. I know he won't have a double but Trent could easily get you double game week points in a single game week as we all know and he's worth the money, especially with his attacking returns. And with Brentford at home, you would expect every possibility of Trent being able to get an attacking return there. It's tough to know what Tottenham defender to go with here. I've gone with Emerson Royale, but you could take a punt on Sanchez or maybe Reguilon. I think the main thing here is, is that Spurs have been much better in defence more recently, so you're probably going to want to just get a defender from Spurs that you feel is going to play both matches, and then any Things in there will be a bonus. They have Arsenal and Leicester. These are teams that I would expect to be scoring goals, but as I say, Tottenham defence has looked better, so you never know. There could be a possibility of a clean sheet. If you're wanting attacking returns, though, Cucurella would be your guy to be considering. Brighton have Crystal Palace and Chelsea, and Cucurella did get his only attacking return against Chelsea last time out, so. He could definitely be one to watch as a potential to recreate that. And lastly, I've just gone with the cheap Wolves defender of Marcel. He is starting most matches and he is only 4.2 million, so he's great fodder in this particular instance, even if he isn't a double game week player. In midfield, I stuck with the single game week player of Jota for exactly the same reasons as I stuck with Trent. He is so informed at the moment, I do not even want to kind of try and go against Liverpool if they have a game and they're playing. So for me, I'm sticking with Jota and Trent, and I would be as well if I was through 15. In terms of Madsen Lookman, obviously be very careful on this one. We need to know that Leicester are starting on the weekend. Of course, their midweek match was called off, so there's every possibility that they may not get their double game week on the weekend if they cannot field the 13 ahead of the weekend. So with that, the Madsen and the Lookman picks are very much if we know and we are confirmed that Leicester are playing and that they have a double game week. Otherwise, I'd be considering a Lucas Moura for one of these spots and maybe even a McAllister punt from Brighton as a potential differential. I've kept Bowen, obviously he's in great form. He has Leeds up next, which, you know, is a team that can leak goals. So I don't want Bowen to go anywhere. And I think 
even in a free hit team. Whilst it's great to feel like you want to fill your team with all double game week players, sometimes it's best not to overlook the single game week players in form and Bowen is definitely in form at the moment. Gray has stayed simply because of his fixture against Norwich. Of course, I hope that game is going ahead after missing out on getting Gray in the double game week. Of course, if the Leicester game is going ahead and you'd rather have a double game week player where Gray is and play two at top, then this is where you could stick Lucas Moura. And talking of my strikers, this is how I would line up. Right now, there's a little bit of iffiness around a couple of these players. Of course, you'll see that Ronaldo is in and Dennis is in. We need some injury update on Dennis, although I do believe he was in training this week, so it's looking good for him. On Ronaldo, he did say that he was hoping to be fit for the weekend. He is feeling a bit of soreness. He said he will see on Thursday. Of course, today is Thursday, so we will need a bit more information on Ronaldo. I was thinking the alternatives here could be Kane, of course, where Ronaldo is. Maybe even Lukaku, if you wanted to go with a bit of a Chelsea punt on that one. And in Dennis's case, maybe if you know you're going to play five in midfield and you're going to go with King and Ronaldo or King and Kane or King and Lukaku up top, then you could move Dennis to a DCL if we know that he's fifth against Norwich and have him first on your bench. And that's it you guys, a really quick one. This is how I would line up if I was free hitting. A caveat here is that I'm not planning to actually free hit at the moment. If anything changes, like for instance the Leeds West Ham game getting called off, and I lose three of my players, then I would consider free hitting and this is very much what I would be looking at if this was my free hit team. But for the moment and for the record, I'm not planning to free hit. For those of you that are, I wish you the very, very best of luck. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope that you're loving the new videos. And just remember, if anyone asks you about your FPL team and you don't want to talk about it, you just tell them, NYM baby, never you mind. Until next time, Nymphria out.